Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Well, it's another cloudy day here. We've had several days of clouds and kind of gloomy. That's okay. It's not totally hot, so we're okay. All right, so I have several things I want to talk about today. One is some Dollar Tree finds that I got a couple weeks ago that I never mentioned. And it's a little early to start talking about Christmas. But however, if you like Christmas soaps, I got these. Aren't they pretty? So it's cedar balsam. It's got a nice little picture on it, the little pine cones. And so these are Dollar Tree. These are a dollar a piece, all right, Dollar Tree. Um, you know what, after I got this home, I remembered, okay, they also have soft soap, but they didn't have Christmas scents, but I, I remembered I do not like this, not because I don't like Dial, but I don't like their little skinny bottles, and um, the way their pump works, um, a lot of times, if I do this with one hand, I end up, um, it's like really clumsy, it doesn't sit well like soft soap does, so if I'd had this to do over with, I would not have bought these two, however, <laughs> They're very pretty, and I don't know, I'm actually thinking about taking them back just because I remembered I don't like the way their bottle functions. Nothing wrong with their soap. Their soap's great. Okay, these, I run through these gloves all the time. So this is the Buddies brand, and I have not actually ever tried these from Dollar Tree before, but because they're only a dollar, these are just your regular heavy, they say they're heavy duty. They're also textured. I usually use the Playtex brand, and these are textured. Uh, if you see that right there, like the Playtex brand, they have some texturing down here as well. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's some texturing there, texturing here. And I use these to wash my dishes. So these are, you know, I like them and they're pretty thick, but I run through these gloves, these Playtex gloves so quickly. Um, I don't know if it's just me or what. You'll have to leave a comment and tell me if, if Playtex works really great for you. But I thought for a dollar, I would just try these because, I mean, if they're going to tear up in a couple of months anyway, why pay $3 if I can just pay dollars? So, I'm trying these. And the other thing I got, this is my favorite thing that I got at Dollar Tree the last couple of weeks. And they may not have any more, and they hardly had any more, and I bought them out. It was beads. Now, so the reason I like these is because they're navy. They're a really good size. I don't know if you can kind of tell. It's not, you know, it's not laundry basket size by any means. However... If you had a small or medium sized throw and you just wanted to have something sitting by your easy chair or your uh, recliner or your sofa or whatever, you could put a decent sized throw in here and it would just, um, you know, it's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it, it could be easily hidden, I think, if you um, just want something convenient, but then you could stick it in a closet when people came over or something like that. So I've actually had these items sitting here because I was gonna show them to you. So anyway, that's that. But I bought them out. They only had three. Uh, Navy's my favorite. So they only had three of these, so I, I bought them out. Um, so anyway, I the only thing, I think because it has so many holes, it's not quite as sturdy as some of the other ones. But I still really, really like it just because it's Navy. <laughs> that's all I care about, I guess, just the color. Okay, now. The next thing I want to talk about, pardon me, I'm off screen for just a second. I want to talk about the CV for just a second. And so um, anytime I talk about the CV, if I put it in the post, I know, so I, I don't I don't get demonetized because I only have a few viewers. So it's not a demonetizing thing, but I don't want them to just like shun my videos altogether. So if I put something that says CV in the title, you'll know, you know it has something to do with COVID. Um, okay. There are actually studies out talking about mouthwash and COVID. And I just stumbled upon this recently. I remember being at the oral surgeon and then making me wash my mouth out with something. And the dentist might have made me do something like that, maybe Listerine or something. I don't really remember the dentist doing it, but I remember the oral surgeon did it. Um, what I have learned is there is an ingredient in Colgate. So this Colgate has it. This one is the... Um, Colgate Total 12 Hour Protection. I'm not going to say if it's said exactly. Oh, peppermint. This one happens to be peppermint. The active ingredient is one of the things that supposedly will kill COVID. So if you're wanting um, something to do daily that would help you with that, um, they say use this two to three times a day. Okay, so this has the correct active ingredient. And there's different ingredients, by the way. So this happens to have it. Crest, and I'm not sure which crest because I don't think I have any crest on hand right now. 
This Colgate Zero also has it. Um, this is Colgate Zero Fresh Breath. By the way, this doesn't taste the best. And I actually kind of overpaid for this. I, these are all couponing fines. So these are all things I've couponed for. Actually, I don't think I had it. I'm not sure I had a coupon for this. I think this was on clearance. And later I thought that really wasn't a good deal. And I didn't really like the taste. However, for COVID, it has the correct active ingredient, which is all we actually care about during this conversation. So you could always use some of this and then drink something else, you know, to drink lots of ice water or something, or drink some tea, get the taste out. The other thing is a Listerine. This one, I know it's empty. I have not stopped all this and I'm very sorry. Listerine Cool Mint is the one you're looking for. Listerine Cool Mint. I've actually looked at the, the active ingredients. I don't know if you can read what that says. I can't remember if this is backwards or not. Um, it's probably going to be really hard to see, but uh, it says eucalyptol, menthol, methyl salicylate, I think is what it says, and thymol. Um, I've actually seen these in other ones besides Cool Mint, and I think what happened is during the testing of this, they just used certain types, and Cool Mint must have been the one that they used, but I'm thinking probably most of the Listerines have the, the correct active ingredients. But anyway, Cool Mint is the one you want to pick up if you want to know for sure. Now, I want to do a quick declutter. So the this is going to be like a smorgasbord video, but I want to go very quickly because I don't want to keep you. But I want to do a quick declutter of some items in my bathroom. And I think I'm going to move some of these out of my bathroom because the cabinets are looking very cluttered. And I am still using Dollar Tree bins. I've seen so many complaints. Certain people love them and certain people are like, they're so cheap. I get the $5 ones at Target. They're so much better. Honestly, I think I've had these for two years. I'm not having any trouble with them. I did pick it up and physically bring it in here today, but generally I am not physically picking these up and dragging things around with me. It is specifically to put inside the cabinet and hold the items. I'm not, and then you, of course you can pull, pull the container out and kind of look at it, but I don't pull the whole thing out. So it's not going to fall through. I don't know. I'm not really sure why people are having problems. If you have problems with Dollar Tree, uh, bins let me know in the comments I'm just not having the problem and I I don't love bins so much that I'm gonna pay for five dollar target or or go to the container store I'm just not that's just not me but if that's your thing great do it however you want to do it but I'm just gonna show a bathroom declutter really quick because in the fly lady system we're in the bathroom this week and I have some things I'd like to pull out of here I'm gonna keep them but I'm gonna put them somewhere else all right so bear with me for one second um, I keep this huge thing of baking soda in the bathroom because sometimes I brush my teeth with ba baking soda because it just makes it feel cleaner. It feels like you've just been at the dentist. And so uh, I do use this occasionally to brush my teeth. I don't use it every day, but this huge thing is actually almost empty now. I need to find something smaller to put it in so it's not taking up so much space. So anyway, that's going to stay. Oh, and here's my bin, by the way. And see, my bin's holding together fine. It, it is very sturdy. I don't know what people are complaining about, but anyway, a dollar versus five or 10, I don't know. All right, you trying, this is one of my um, couponing things. And so I bought, this was a CVS deal that I did. Um, and I just use this on my face. It's, this is a daily hydration lotion. I don't go out and buy really expensive um, moisturizers. So this is just, I just use that on my face. So that's gonna stay. Um, this is Nivea Intense Healing. I really like it and it's almost empty. So I need to tip it upside down or something and get the rest of it out and so I can throw that away. This is something I actually have not been using, but I love it. And you can see it's all torn up. <laughs> I'm just, I use it a lot. I've almost used it up. I think I'm gonna put this in my car. So this I'm gonna set aside. I'm gonna put that in my car. Therajizic, I kind of keep that in the bathroom just so I can find it. That's for pain, back pain, knee pain, whatever. That's gonna stay. Um, okay, so the Skin So Soft, I've been using this, um, I actually haven't used it in years, and I, I'm sure it's totally expired, I don't know if it has a date on it, but um, guess what, it still works. This, you can, Skin So Soft Avon, you can use for mosquitoes, and so, but mosquito season is about over, so I'm going to move it somewhere besides my bathroom, because it is taking up a lot of space. So that, I'm going to set aside. Okay, and then I've got all this kids sport. I use 50, kids, 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 50. This is what I use. 
Um, people seem to think this stuff um, expires. I can promise you if it's gonna expire, it's already expired. I keep using it. I've never had a problem with it. 50 works for me. 30, 35, whatever does not work for me. Um, this is my husband's 30. This is very old. He he didn't use it all year. I don't know. We're not big sunscreen people. Sunscreen has lots of chemicals in it. Um, there's better brands. I haven't researched which brands are better. And so I still have these cheap brands. And we almost never use it. Which I know somebody's going to comment. I'm going to get cancer. I know I got it. I understand. Okay. Um, this is my 70% alcohol, good size. I am keeping that, I think, in the back right now. I have extra. Obviously, I don't need two bottles in this one bathroom, so I'm setting that aside because I'm going to, I think I may put that in Spencer's. Same thing with the peroxide. I think I may put that in Spencer's bathroom. I've got two peroxide. I don't need two in, the, in one bathroom, right? So I'm going to set one of these aside. So this is going to help me clear this bin out. This does not work. It's a good night, um, nature's truth, good night, essential oil, relaxing for nighttime. Nope. Wide awake. Wide awake. I am giving this away. So this needs to be in a giveaway. I'll put this over here. Giveaway pile. Icy Hot. I got this on a uh, Dollar General clearance. This is good stuff. This is a lot like the Theragesic. They're, they're, they're different, but um, I like both. So, I actually have another one of these in my bathroom, so I'm going to set this aside and place this somewhere else. And I've got some, I hardly have any of this left, nail polish remover. I hardly ever paint my nails. Um, what is this? Oh, Purity Lens Cleaner. I think I'm going to give this away because I never use that. So, I'm going to, I had a giveaway, all right, we can give that away. This, I just got couponing. I really like it. It's suave. Uh, coconut lotion. I got this for a dollar. This is the power of couponing. This was a dollar. This is only 10 ounces, but actually it wasn't a dollar. It was 50 cents. It was a dollar 50 off. I had a dollar 50 digital coupon. Dollar general was 50 cents. Okay. So that I like. And I've got band aids in here. I'm going to keep those in here. Spencer's got so many band aids in his, in his bathroom. It looks like he's got some sort of collection going on in there. Okay, this is pure magnesium oil that kind of makes me itch and I don't really use it. It's one of those things I paid a lot for. It's really good for pain. I gotta tell you, I don't love it. Optimal Health, it says. Anybody ever used pure magnesium oil? This thing is full. I've had it for years. I'm really not using it. I think I should put it aside. That's Mila. Okay, so what I have left in here, I've got the one alcohol, one uh, peroxide, the nail stuff, the one lotion, and the band-aids. And I'm gonna put, this wasn't didn't actually fit in there, I'm gonna put that in there because I use that pretty much every day. Now I have room to put this back in here um, because it actually fits because I took so much other stuff out. The Theragesic, I'm gonna put back in there. Um, and then the Nivea, I said I need to use this up. I think what I'm gonna do is turn it upside down and hope it doesn't come out this direction, which it may. And I'm gonna put that in here and I'm gonna use it up. Okay, so now, because I've taken so much out, this is no longer overflowing. This was totally overflowing and a couple of my lotions weren't even in there. So. That's good. That's, a, that's some good decluttering. Now, the problem is I'm not getting rid of a whole lot. I'm moving it, but that's okay. And actually, now I've got room. I've got room for these two things, which also were not in there. I'm going to put those in there as well. Okie dokie. So, now that bin's pretty full. Okay, I'm going to show you my other big bathroom bin. This is the same thing, same exact one. I've also not had any trouble with this one, but it's the same bin. I've got one roll of toilet paper. Normally I keep several rolls, so I've only got one. So I, now I need to refill this bin and put some more toilet paper. Okay, so we're gonna, we'll do that in a minute. But I've got just some wipes, just that I use for whatever. These are just from Walmart. These are pre-moistened soft wipes, hypoallergenic. They're very inexpensive. I'll just keep those on hand for whatever I need them. Wipe my hands, wipe my face, whatever. Okay, I have all these different makeup wipes, and I'm going to tell you which one's my favorite. The Neutrogena. I get these at CVS from, with the couponing. I like the Neutrogena. These are the fragrance-free. These are my favorites. 
out of every brand I'm about to show you, this one right here is my favorite, the Fragrance Free Neutrogena. Okay, I have Skin Active. I don't love these. And guess how many Skin Active I have? I've, got, I've stockpiled these big time because I get these. Every time I have, um, I can do a deal over at CVS with these wipes, I do it. Okay, again, this is my favorite one. This one, um, All May. This one's okay. I like the way this one smells. It's not my favorite, but I like the way it smells. This is a different type of Skin Active. I don't love this one either. Um, they do take the makeup off, but I just don't love them. Um, again, this is my favorite one. That's the, the full Neutrogena. So I've been using this other one and using it up. My least favorite, I would say don't ever buy this. Um, do I only have one of those? Okay, I thought I had, thought I had more than one. I guess I'd use the other one. I don't like these all May ones at all. I had a good deal on this at CVS. I hate these. Um, this is my least favorite. So there was this all May one. These actually feel pretty good and they smell good. This all May biodegradable. Mm, I don't like it at all. So um, and then the other one that's okay. It's 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 just as good, but the Neutrogena and it has the smell to it. So the fragrance free is the one I love. This would be second favorite. Um, so that's good. So you see, I have a huge stock of all these. I never bought these ever until I started couponing. But so I've got the stockpile of this stuff now. So I use them. I will say it's very convenient, but um, not in one million years would I pay full price for these. Not in one million years. I get these for at CVS for next to nothing. If I did not keep on, I would not buy them. Um, because I'm I don't need them that badly. Okay, I did actually have two rolls of toilet paper in here. So, this bin has all these makeup wipes. It has two rolls of toilet paper. I need to go put more because I need more toilet paper in my bathroom. And then, I didn't realize this was open, so my cotton balls are falling out. But I got these on a good deal. Also, at CVS, so I probably paid almost nothing for these. Okay, so that's also in this bin. So, again, I had the, the just the regular kind of baby wipe type things. And, oh, and I also had these sanitizing hand wipes that I got. Unfortunately, I think these are made in China. I usually don't use made in China wipes or makeup. Okay, but I did accidentally buy these. I think sometimes at Dollar General, these are only a dollar, a Dollar General, but sometimes they have them from Turkey. I would get from Turkey before I would get from China. Just saying. Uh, if you're from China and watching me, God bless. Uh, I don't hate Chinese people. It's just the government I do not like. Okay, so this is still just as full as it was, and so obviously I don't need to buy any more wipes, no matter what great deal, even if they're free, 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 I don't need them. I'm probably, some of those that I haven't opened, I may use those as Christmas gifts. Um, I've got a friend I mail stuff to in um, Kentucky, and I bet she would love those because she works extremely long hours, and she would probably love some makeup wipes. And those Garnier ones, there's nothing wrong with them, they just don't overwhelm me with how great they are. There's there's nothing physically wrong with the wipes. They work. They get the makeup off. So it's a nice gift. You know, there's nothing wrong with them. I just like those Neutrogena ones much better. Okay. Now, the last thing we're going to do in this video, which now has become too long, is this is the bottom drawer in my bedroom. It's, you see it's got a little stain on the drawer. Too bad. Oh, sorry. It's the top drawer. Top drawer. I put the stuff that was in the bottom drawer in here as well. So... This is the stuff I need to re really look into this and declutter. Mila, please. Okay. This is the cutest little mask that I got. It's a face mask. I mean, an eye mask. I got. It says wifey. Um, this is extremely uncomfortable. I thought it would be super cool. I got it at Dollar, at Dollar Tree. Sorry, Dollar Tree. It comes in this cute little, it's all satiny, comes in this. So for a dollar, it seems like a great deal. I don't really like it. Um, and if I can find my other eye mask, I'm going to give this away. This will be part of my giveaway. Right now, I'm leaving it where it is so I can find it. Mila, please. Okay. Um, somehow, I have a random Ziploc bag. I don't know why. So, that's obviously trash, I think. Um, okay. These are some... This is budesonide, by the way. If you can get your hands on some budesonide, let me show you what this is. You put this in a nebulizer. 
This is a COVID treatment. If you have a nebulizer and you have a doctor that will give you budesonide, that is a COVID treatment. Now, I use this as nose drops. This was um, prescribed to me by my ENT for specific sinus issues. However, budesonide is a COVID treatment. Okay, just a little COVID info thrown in for anybody who is still watching, you got the bonus. All right, I got Dermacil. This is a Dollar Tree product, a dollar for this. This is a really good deal, 10 ounces, a dollar, okay? Although, when I showed you, okay, the 10 ounces swab, I got 50 cents at Dollar General with the coupon. So you see, that was actually cheaper. That's okay though. Okay, I got a pair of scissors. This is some stuff I use. I've got my earplugs and this is some tape I, I use at night. So I need the scissors. So that needs to stay in here. There are some cough drops in here. I do not know why I have tennis balls in here. Um, that can probably be moved. I'm gonna move that. Um, I have this mirror that I don't know why it's in here. Um, and I think I know where it came from, but I'm gonna move that because that does not need to be in here. I have, this is the most awesome thing ever. Our house was built in 1890, and this is Feral Calhoun, um, like the historic colors, and it's cool. So I have this stored in my bedside table. I know not why, except that we were painting and looking at paint colors. And so there you go, historic colors. Um, this is a Dr. Rogers book that somebody gave me, Angry and Rogers, it's kind of stuff. And so that's been stored here. I'm actually not reading it. Um, I'm not a big reader. Somebody gave me that, it's a nice book, but I'm just not using it. I'm gonna put that to the side. Sorry, that was noisy. Okay, this is some foot pain cream with tea tree oil that doesn't really work. Although it smells good. Still smells good. Uh, I might leave that in there. Here's some salon paws. I think I'm gonna, these are these little, if you've ever used them, they're little pads you can put on your back and you just stick it to you or wherever you're paying back or me or whatever. I think I'm gonna put that where the Theragesic was because I don't, I don't need that in the bedside table. I keep a little thing of Vaseline by the bed, so that is in here. Um, oh, some antifungal solution. I forgot I had that. That is good if you have like a fungal um, fingernail type of issue. Sorry, I'm not discussing, but it does happen. Here's some random trash that needs to go. More random trash. Where'd that bag go? I had a Ziploc bag that was trash. Hang on, hang on. I can put the random trash in the, in the Ziploc, can't I? Because that is one of those silica gel things. I don't need the cats to get into that. Okay, my chiropractor years ago gave me some stretches, everyday stretches. I do like to keep that in the bedside table. So I've got three different pages of stretches. I'm gonna keep that in here. I've got polysporin, always a good thing to have by the bed. Um, actually, There are, okay, there's cough drops in here. Cough drops, I keep those by the bed. Um, you know what? Because the polysporin is in here, this is trash. I think I'm going to um, put the band-aids in here because if I use the polysporin, I'm gonna want the band-aids. What are the band-aids? Okay, I'm glad this is, this is all working well because I'm getting it all organized. Okay, so the band-aids can go there. There's some more cough drops, and I'm going to go ahead and put the cough drops into the bag so I can find them when the time comes. Occasionally, we get a little choked overnight. I have a couple of um, remotes in here. I think this one goes to the air conditioner, and we just got a, a brand new ceiling fan, so that's what the black one is. So those you can see in here. I have, I don't usually use vaporizing rub, but I do leave that in this drawer. One of my favorite things ever, Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Lavender Vanilla. I spray this as a spray. I spray it on my pillow before bed. I love that. That's staying in here. I have a very bright flashlight. That is going to stay in here. Um, there's some night cream. I don't, I think I want to give that away. It's one of those Mary Kay creams and I'm not using it. Um, here's some papers. Those are special to me. I'm gonna leave that in there. I have no idea what this is. I think that goes to the phone. I don't think we need that twist tie. And look, we have random screws right here. 
think I put that in the trash bag. I'm going to put these little things in the trash bag. I can't believe we're going to need that. And I have a penny and a hair thing and a paper clip. I'm going to get rid of that because I've got plenty of paper clips. I don't need that. It's kind of rusty. And I have this. This is crazy. I have like uh, plantar fasciitis. It's probably got cat hair on it, so excuse that. But this thing holds, it's like a foot stabilizer. So that I'm going to leave in here. I don't really use it that often, but I don't want it. It's not something I want to get rid of. Okay, so my drawer is pretty well cleared out. Okay, let me put the lotion back in there. Okay, so I took a few things out. I got a few things out, and the drawer will open now. And everything that's left on the table, I think I put everything that was on the table in here. There's also, I need to find a place for this. This is so dirty. But um, when we redid our room, we, you know, everything was just dirty. You know how it goes. But that was one of those things that you plug in a million plugs. I might use that in this room. Maybe I'll just leave that in here. Okay. So this drawer now is looking really great. If you just kind of see without me tipping the whole thing over. It's not full anymore. It will close. And in the bottom drawer, it has two drawers. In the bottom drawer, I put a an extra throw i told y'all i love throws and i just kind of i just like to have them surrounding me i don't know what it is with me and throws but anyway i like them so my extra throw is in the second drawer okay so this looks good i'm liking this and i'm going to move all the stuff around like what we just talked about thanks for joining me i got all the stuff decluttered in like 15 minutes thank you so much talk to you later comment below if you have anything to say any anything at all love you guys bye